learned of the shocking revelation that Chihiro was actually a boy? Let's pick up from there. Yes, well, I don't know his reason for hiding it, but the fact is, Chihiro was not a girl, but a boy. I think the chair left me on. That never even crossed my mind. Because the victim was male, he would have had no problem gaining access to the boys' locker room. Assuming his handbook did, in fact, list his gender as male, mm. then yes, that would be true. Oh, yeah. Of course his handbook said he was a boy. He dressed like a girl, but he was a boy through and through. That was mildly confusing. So then, there should be no issue with Makoto's initial assertion. The victim was killed in the boys' locker room, and was then later moved to the girls' locker room. room. And the killer could have easily used Sayaka or Junko's handbook to get into the girls' locker room. Another interesting fact, huh? Chihiro really was killed in the boys' locker room? That changes a bit of everything. I still don't understand the motive for moving the body, but... Yes, that does seem plausible. Well, I must admit, I did find it rather odd. I knew he felt a little oh. off. There was a certain incongruity to his female body. Felt? This is the most titillating situation! So now everything has been connected. connected. All the mysteries have finally become clear. Okay, well, connected or clear or whatever. We still think you're the killer, remember? Unless someone else wants to interject. <laughs> This has become very interesting indeed. Ah, he's off in his own little world. Nothing. What about you, Makoto? After everything we've learned, do you still think Byakuya is the killer? Hmm. Well, without a doubt, Byakuya is the one that made Chihiro's death look like genocide jacked However... But I... think he might not actually be the killer, killer after all. What? Mm -hmm. what? Yes, but it just seems to be too easy going about this. Easy going about all this. Like he's enjoying a salt in the mystery. The way he's acting, it makes it seem like it doesn't have anything okay. to do with him. So his hands are clean. And you think that might be because it doesn't have anything to do with him? Plus, the evidence he left behind was a little too how can I put it? Over. Over. He consciously chose to use the extension cord, knowing it could connect him to the murder. That's a bit too obvious. At least, that's how I see it. Mm. And Byakuya, when you found out the murder took place in the boys' locker room, it seemed to rattle you. And then again, when you found out Chihiro was actually a guy, if you really were the killer, that stuff wouldn't have had any effect on you. So that's your thinking, huh? Well, it bothers me that you don't have more concrete reasons, but... It's fine. I guess I'll mark it as correct, for the time being. Time being... Mark it as... correct? He's right. I am not the culprit. Okay. So it's not Genocide Jack, or Jill, and it's not Bielkia. I just happened to come across the corpse in the girls' locker room and decided to alter it. Wait, you altered it? Are you fucking with us right now? No, I am not effing with you right now. I'm telling you the truth. Then why alter the body? Well, I find it very hard to believe. Unless. Go ahead. Find it very hard to believe. You're free to be executed along with the rest of us. If you're really telling the truth, then why? Why do you do that to his body? My reasons hardly matter right now. Uncovering the culprit is much more important, wouldn't you say? Now then, if it wasn't me, it wasn't. Well, I don't think I can say for sure without talking about it a little more. Are you seriously gonna keep going? There we go. Not this time. No, I'm with Lakota. If there's any doubt whatsoever, we need to explore every possibility. Because if we're wrong, we all die here. Yeah, that makes sure you react to That's true. Very well then. I'm with you too. Damn straight. Count me in. That makes sure you react to Do you not have a mind of your own? Of course 
I do? What am I, an ant or something? Anyway, let's discuss this all as a group one more time. We still have time to make our decision. I better make it fast. That's very true. Our lives are all on the line. But who is the real king? Excellent. Then shall we resume our game of hide and seek? Yafia didn't do it. Then who is the real king? Who really murdered your hero? I'm sure not. I'm sure they're here with a king. Where is the gun? A gun! Where is the gun? You would need a boy's hand at the end. I don't know how to. Where's the gun? So I'm not even going concrete. Let's take it. Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it? Did nobody get a look at the killer? Sure, if someone saw the killer, they could have said something by now. True. Perhaps someone saw the victim at some point. Even that might be enough for now. Any kind of new info? No, it's over. It's all over. No, it's not. You want to know who saw the victim? The killer. And only the killer. Kill! Only the killer. I believe someone else did see the victim before he was murdered. What, what do you, you think, think, Celeste? Now that you mention it, yes. I didn't see him. Really? She has an idea who it might be. Oh, but I suppose only Makoto knows about this. She's a detective. Detective. The rest of you have no idea, did you? That is why you're all making such ugly noises. Whatever! Just hurry up and tell us! You'll find out. It was last night, right before nighttime. I saw Chihiro in the dormitory warehouse. Ah, oh, that's right. I saw you stuffing a trash jacket into a duffel bag. Trash jacket. I assume he headed off to exercise. Trash jacket and duffel bag? We didn't find anything like that at the mercy. It seems likely that the culprit destroyed them to get rid of any evidence. And that is when he said something that struck me as rather odd. Flashback. I'm not gonna hurry. Hero told me he was in a hurry. But why would he be in a hurry? Only if someone were waiting for him, I should think. So, Mr. Fujisaki was on his way to meet with someone, and then they were going to work out together. But Hina and I had invited him to exercise with us plenty of times, and he always declined. Yeah. Probably because he was afraid you'd find out the secret he was hiding, right? Which means that conversely, he must have trusted whoever he was meeting with very much. Enough so that he was willing to risk his secret on his idea. Oh! The marvel of friendship! The point is, whoever he met up with is the culprit, right? So we just gotta figure out who it was. But knowing what we know, we can't even guess. No. You already have what you need to make the connection. She worried. Huh? That's right, the tracksuit. Oh, no, the, ah, the blue tracksuit. Seriously? Who is it? Who's the killer? Think back to the track jacket and duffel bag the killer disposed of. Focus on the details of these items, and it should become obvious who was waiting for it. Blue tracksuit. Oh, sure. I hope I am a tracksuit car. What? You want to track down some fingerprints or something? Even if we had the equipment, we wouldn't know how to use it. As was noted, evidence is already gone. 
there's nothing to get fingerprints from. Maybe, but we can make certain inferences if we just take the time to talk it out. Easy for you to say, but fine. Celeste, did you notice anything special about the bag or jacket? The bag was just a normal duffel bag from the warehouse. All the bags in there are the same, so I can't imagine what would make that be special. Well, if I remember right, there was a decent variety of tracksuits to choose from. Variety of tracksuits? Do you think there might be some connection between the culprit and Chihiro's jacket? Perhaps. Let's explore that and talk a bit more about the jacket he took. I don't know if I have some clue to think about it. I'm too old for that. Going the truck seat. When Celeste testified a few minutes ago, she said Stuffing a jacket, track jacket, and the duffel bag. Class exercise. She was. She never said anything about the jacket's color. Ah, interesting. So why did you say to Hero's blue track suit? Oh. Mario, you just walked into that one. As a matter of fact, he was blue. Before we began the trial, did you tell anyone that? The only one I told about any of this was you. Then, Mondo, how did you know what color Shihiro's tracksuit was? Well, because I, I just, I'm sure he saw the clothes at some point in the investigation. No, that can't mm -hmm. be it. The bag and clothes were surely disposed of by the time we began our investigation. 